These movies have some people leaving in the theater feeling good about themselves and leave others a bit uneasy. You know the movies where it's set in a high school classroom with a bunch of misbehaved black and Latino students and and a white teacher comes in. We see these everywhere in Hollywood, to name a few, Freedom Riders and Dangerous Minds. These movies all share some key features and typically follow the same plot. Here's a class of mostly minorities who are misbehaved and seem to drive every teacher out. And suddenly, a new teacher appears, who's usually a white woman and seems to do what no one was able to do before, teach the students. The teacher's a little inexperienced and naive, but has a big heart and wants everyone to succeed. The students resent the teacher at first, but the teacher finds a way to get to them. The students are black or Latino and are portrayed as poor, violent, rude, dumb, or somehow all of these. The teacher goes an extra mile to help the students, and boom, happily ever after. This genre of white teacher and inner city schools follow the same formula for success. Yet, movies in this genre like Freedom Riders and Dangerous Minds are true stories. This brings me to believe that these true stories are mended to fit into this white saberism cliche. With a little research, I discovered that it's true. The lives of real people were portrayed inaccurately and exaggerated just to fit this ideal. Honestly, I'm not surprised and did not expect anything more from Hollywood. Luann Johnson, the teacher who Dangerous Minds is based on, said that her story was being changed beyond recognition. She didn't teach kids with poetry, but rather rap lyrics, which I don't know why this was changed since rap lyrics would have been more interesting and would have shown a real connection with the students. The classroom was an even mix of white, black, and Hispanic, while in the movie, it was all minorities with one white kid in the mix. She also stated that in the scene where a student's grandparent calls her a white bread bitch was completely made up because the directors thought that some black and Latino parents would resent her. The most climactic part of the story, where Emilio was murdered, was also made up. The real Emilio joined the Marine Corps and had a family. The residents of Long Beach, where Freedom Riders was based on, says that the high school is nothing like that. According to one member, the community there were in the community there were white students and middle class students. One student who the story was based on even said it was an oversimplified, insulting narrative about the community. The problem is not that these stories are being twisted. The problem is that it is twisted to fit into a typical story of a hero teacher and poor students. These students are seen as at risk and need help, yet these white teachers are the main character and these students are just a background. Then the the movie ends as if all the problems within the movie are solved, yet none of them actually are. These teachers are presented with problems ingrained in the system that they attempt to fix with a little empathy and their own unique way of teaching with candy and karate. People leave theaters thinking how amazing the teacher was and how there should be more teachers like that. The teacher is being praised and has become a foundation for what a teacher should be. I mean, as they should. Yet what they should be focused on is how fucked up the system is on minorities that attend a school that is too poor to provide them what they need. These movies made millions of dollars when the system still has not changed. Yes, it was a good movie with good messages, but is it going to provide any stepping stones for fixing education inequality, or is it going to show an impossible ideal of one white lady fixing the whole system? Period.